How's it going guys? Back with another uh, garage sale finds video. Uh, all the stuff I'm going to show you today was all from garage sales. Uh, this first box is uh, all this over here and all this stuff. Uh, the story with this was I went to a, a garage sale yesterday. I asked the guy if he had any old toys, uh, you know, this typical spiel what I tell people, toys, watches, whatever. And uh, he said the house he was actually at was his mother's house. And he had a bunch of toys he thought at his house and would bring them the next day. A lot of times when this happens, I'll go back the next day and that they'll actually be closed or they'll say they forgot to bring them, whatever. But uh, today he actually brought them back with him, uh, brought the lot out and uh, he asked me what I'd pay and I said, how about $40? He didn't even counter and said, sure, that's fine. So I ended up buying all these toys for uh, $40. And uh, these are pretty much uh, all the Lesney and uh, Tootsie toys. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're pretty well played with. I've already listed this lot on Facebook Marketplace for $75 or best offer. I've done very well with lots like this and uh, they usually sell. So I'll uh, probably close to double my money just on all this group of toys. And these are the little bit better stuff. Uh, these are some Buddy L, the larger size. As you see, the condition isn't the greatest, greatest on a lot of these. Here's a dinky toy. Yeah, it's a dinky toy. So there's that stuff. And then there's some more over here. Uh, have some red lines that were in the box. Have this American Tipper in really nice condition. I think this alone is probably a thirty or forty dollar red line. Some more red lines, not in the greatest greatest of uh, condition. There's a Sweet Sixteen. It's probably another probably a twenty dollar car. These are some of my favorite toys to find. These uh, king size Lesneys. So these are from the '60s. Uh, larger size than the standard matchbox. Uh, this is in uh, actually complete condition. Paint is pretty nice. Surprisingly, I, I these don't bring uh, a ton of money. Something like this is probably only a fifteen fifteen dollar toy or so, or so, you know. Then have a another king size uh, fire truck. This one has the uh, the ladders broken on it. Looks like these Tonkas are uh, pretty desirable. Uh, this set right here. This may bring uh, forty dollars for the loader and the low boy with the tractor trailer on it. End up getting this at another garage sale. Only paid two dollars for this. Uh, this is another king size. This is from uh, 1976. So it was uh, fun just uh, actually going through the box, uh, pulling all the toys out, doing some research on it. So that was a fun buy there. End up getting this at a garage sale. It's the uh, Barbie McDonald's playset. It was only $5. And it has a lot of the accessories. So with these uh, play sets, actually the accessories can be worth more than the play set itself. Uh, looks like just even these Big Mac containers are worth between five and seven dollars each. So as, as you can see, a lot of the accessories are here. So that's another great find. You know, five dollars that set is probably worth probably seventy-five range for that. And then. Uh, no gold or silver this week, but I did find some watches. Ended up getting this uh, Timex automatic. Uh, this was a $2 it is running, keeping time. And then I uh, got these. I asked the person if he had any old watches. He brought out a, uh, quite a lot. Most of them are quartz. And I pulled out the best ones and we made a deal. I bought these uh, for $70. 
So I have a Hellbros uh, mechanical watch, probably from the 60s. It is running Keeping Time. Have a Seiko 5 automatic. Uh, this one was running. Oh, there it goes. So I'm not sure how reliable this one is since it stopped. So there's that one. Thought this was interesting uh, just because how it was made. It's a, a Phaser 2000. Uh, it's all stainless steel. And I could tell by the back it's a pretty well-made watch. Made in Japan. Look this up. This is not an extremely valuable watch. Maybe only $15 or so. But I still uh, like it. Then the best of the group is this. It's a Hamilton a military watch. Uh, military issued. And on the back, uh, I thought it was a little bit older than what it actually is. I thought it was uh, probably from the 50, uh, 60s or so. It's actually uh, from 1979. So these are uh, very collectible. These uh, Hamilton military style watches, uh, probably a couple hundred dollars. So that was by far the best uh, watch of the group. So I uh, want to thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.